Let's take a look at the lesson. Add numbers, sums up to 1,000. It says evaluate. 132 plus 135 is equal to a number. Well, we can draw a picture for this. I know that 132 has 100, three tens, and two ones. And I know that 135 has 100, three tens, and five ones. Now if I want to add these numbers together, then I can combine what I have. I start with my ones place and I add all the ones together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven ones. And now let's count our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six tens. And there are one, two hundreds. So my answer is 267. All right, now let's write this with numbers. If we have 132 plus 135, we need to line up our ones, our tens, and our hundreds like we did because we're going to add them together in groups. So here we'll add these two together. Two plus five, just like we did over here, two plus five. So we have two ones plus five ones was seven ones. Then we move to our tens. And we had three tens plus three tens, just like over here in our picture, three tens plus three tens. And as we counted, that was six tens. And then we have our hundreds. So we had 100 plus 100 was two hundreds. So that is why we got the answer 267 both times. These are the same problem. They're just written differently. One is with a picture and one is with numbers. So we do not need to draw a picture every time, but we can if it helps. All right, so our final answer is 267. Our next problem shows 131 plus 120. Notice when I wrote this problem, I kept the ones together the tens together and the hundreds together. So now we can do one plus zero, which is one, three plus two, which is five, and one plus one, which is two. 251 is our answer. Next, I have the problem 100 28 plus 133. This one is a little bit tricky because I can see that 8 plus 2 is 10, so 8 plus 3 is 11. So what do we do when we have 11 ones? Let's draw our picture for this one. We have 128, so two tens. and eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have 133, which is 100, three tens, and three ones, one, two, three. Well, I can see we're supposed to add our ones first. So when we do that, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, just like we did over here. But eleven is more than ten. So that means we can take these, we can take ten of them and create a new ten. We're going to move this over and we're going to create a new ten. All right. So now I no longer have 11 ones, I just have one one. But I no longer just have two plus three, I have one plus two plus three. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six tens now. 
and then I have 200 still. So my answer is 261. Now let's solve it over here. Eight plus three was 11. So in the number 11, we see that we have 110 and 11. So that means we can put our one down here because this is the ones place, only ones belong right here. But we created a new 10, so let's put it above our two. So now, just as we saw over here, when we created our new 10, we're putting our new 10 up here. So now we can add all of these three numbers together because we have the new 10 we created plus the two plus the three. So now we have one plus two is three and then three more. So three, four, five, six. Then we have 100 plus 100 is 200. So we got the same answer, 261. Great job. All right, let's work on the next problem. 113 plus 103. Well, I can see here that three plus three is one of my doubles, which is six. And I don't feel like I need to draw a picture for this one because I know right now I'm combining my ones and it was not greater than 10, so I do not need to create a new 10. So three plus three is six and one plus zero or one plus nothing is one. And then one plus one is two. So my answer is 216. Now we have the problem 115 plus 134. Five plus four, hmm. Well, I know four plus four is eight. So five plus four is just one more than eight, which is nine. Then I have one plus three, which is four, and one plus one, which is two. So my answer is 249. Do you see that down below? Yes, right here. Now we have 103 plus 103. Three plus three is one of my doubles. Three plus three is six. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus one is two. My answer is 206. There it is. Here we have 121 plus 141. Remember, it's super important that we keep our ones tens and hundreds in line. One plus one is two. Four plus two, or two plus four, is six. And one plus one is two. 262. Now we have 116 plus 136. Ah, I see in my ones place, I have two sixes. So six plus six is 12, but I cannot put the number 12 right down here. I need to see if I created a new 10. We could draw a picture or we could look at the number 12 and we can say, how many tens are there in 12? Just one. How many ones are there? Two. So I know only the ones belong in the ones place. So this number belongs in the ones place, two. But I know that six plus six isn't two, six plus six is 12. So I need to include this 10 as well. And that belongs in the tens place. So my one that is in the tens place goes in the tens place and my two belongs in the ones place. So we have six plus six is 12. And now we can add our tens. So we have one 10 plus one 10, which is two tens, and then three more. So two, three, four, five. Five tens, and then we have one plus one is two. So our answer is 252. There it is. We have 104 plus 173. Four plus three. 
Hmm. I know 3 plus 3, that's one of my doubles, that's 6. So 4 plus 3 is just one more than that, because 4 is one more than 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 0 plus 7, well, 0 plus any number will be that same number. So 0 plus 7 is equal to 7. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. 277. One hundred sixty six plus one hundred thirty one. We keep our ones, tens, and hundreds together. Six plus one, what is the next number after six? Yeah, seven. Because we're just counting on one. Then we have six plus three, so six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have one plus one, which we know is two. So 166 plus 131 is equal to 297. Thank you for all the help, friends.